Hi there, I am Giuseppe Corcella from Virtual Orchestration and today I'm going to review Peter Isvask's strings by Orchestral Tools. First of all, I want to thank Orchestral Tools for kindly sending us a copy of the library to review. Peter Isvask's strings is a chamber strings library inspired by the works and the techniques of Peter Isvask and recorded at St. John's Church in Riga. It features six first violins, five second violins, four violas, four celli, three basses, two first chair violins, one first chair viola, one first chair cello and one first chair bass. It has three legato styles for the solo instruments and six mic positions. I truly suggest you to check out the Orchestral Tools uh, YouTube channel and the products page to get a complete overview of how this library works, uh, as well as some interesting insights about Peter Svasks and the idea behind the library. It sells for 549 euros plus VAT, and you can also purchase the included instruments separately. Size is 96.7 GB and it runs in the free sign player. Peter Isvask's strings comes with two main folders, ensembles and first chairs. Each instrument is split in two patches, the normal articulations and gestures, which includes some effects and aleatoric techniques. The ensembles have two kinds of legatos, normal legato and whispered legato, while the first chairs have lyrical, expressive and sultasto legato. In both ensembles and soloists you've got quite a few articulations, so you can really go deep with your writing. You have then six mic positions available, spot, ribbon, tricard, triomni, ambient and surround. The engine is of course the usual sign player engine. Let's now play around with this library and hear how it sounds.
Okay, so first of all, the sound of this library is just ace. The instruments are very realistic and quite peculiar, and I really love how the whole ambience sounds. I believe it gives this library a characteristic sound and I think it's perfect for expressive and emotional pieces. Just keep in mind that even the spot mic is not quite dry. The spot mic also truly brings up a lot of details uh, to the sound itself. While the ensemble patches sound just great with the default mic position, from my perspective you have to play a bit around with the mic positions available to get the best out of the first chairs. And as as soon as you properly mix them together, the result can really be amazing. I also like that you have some patches with a few oratoric techniques, as they really help you to expand your sonic palette. It's all for today, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you want to support VR2 orchestration, subscribe to the channel, join our newsletter if you wish, hit the like button and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notified as soon as we release a new tutorial or a new review. If you are new to the world of the virtual orchestration and you wish to learn more about it, or even if you are a pro or semi-pro looking to improve your skills, we offer private online lessons about virtual orchestration, mock-up programming and how to use Dorico, Sibelius, Cubase and Logic Pro. Get in touch at info at I wish you a wonderful day and see you on the next review.